go build it a little more. Also, from what we noticed last time, is there's not sufficient water on this side. All right, that should that should be better. That gives us a clear target to jump down into. Like all the things that sound trivial and that are trivial in a normal rule set are not in this. Because falling off a four block high wall <laughs> could kill you. Like those kind of things. Yeah, so this is our first completed layer. I guess if we build up the wall, I can show you. The point of this setup is this. This dispenser is going to have a water bucket in it, right? So that means that this water is going to get dispensed here. And you can see how it matches up exactly to that border. So anything that was spawned on here, getting shoved towards the edge, right? Basically what I'm aiming at now is I'm building out all the platforms, putting torches on them, and then keeping building. So it's all going to be lit up inside, but it's all lit by torches, which means that once I'm done, I can just dispense the water from these and they'll wash away the torches. It'll be fine. Eh? YOLO. All right, well, we have some more cobble. We could go back up. But another thing is, it's kind of almost time that we make that tube up for the elevator, because now I soon I need to take away that staircase, so. Okay, so where do we put this? I wanted it kind of, I actually did want it inside of the base, but it, we could just extend this wall a bit if we wanted, I suppose. But it does need to be a couple of blocks away, so why don't we build it in a corner? Should it probably go into the nether soon? Maybe. We went into the nether on day 100 in the first season, and it's day 53 now. Yeah, one thing we should do is we should go and get kelp. We said I will need a bunch of kelp for this. So let's go. This could spawn a patrol, because now I'm leaving the village. The reason we don't get patrols- oh my god, this ravine thing. The reason we don't get patrols is because I'm in the village. Patrols do not spawn while you're inside of a village. Now I have left the village, which means patrols could spawn. Ugh. The kelp? There's kelp. Please don't have drowned. Please don't have drowned. Please don't have drowned. Don't see any drowned. This is deep. Don't need tons, we just need a bunch. It will grow if we, you know, if we don't get enough to place it all, we could let it just grow. Oh, there are turtles here too. Try to drown. Yeah, that could be fun. I wonder how TTS says H. Apparently that. H. We know that already because uh, of how it says if you put uh, Triple H in, like the series name, it actually says Triple H. Like, it doesn't say HHH, -H -H, it says Triple H, which I always found fascinating. Alright, we should have enough now. I'm gonna get the heck out of here. Ah! This is just pure vanity, but kind of went to the glass there. For all of it. Alright, well. Ah! Ah! Oh my lord. No, you're right. I forgot about that. I'm I need to put the I need to put the seed up. Oh. Where did Mr. Dude go? He, he was content giving me a heart attack and then yeeting off somewhere, so that's cool. Okay! This will not be enough glass, I just realized. We're about level, we need more, more glass though. Can I make that? Yeah, I can make that. There. I had this all thought out at one point, and then apparently I forgot about it. It was supposed to be that to be symmetric. So, level 30. Perfect. Which means a bow, power 3. No. 
because I have a better power thing. So we need to figure out what we do. Doesn't matter right now because we have a bunch of levels to go. Do we want to sneak peek into the nether, guys? I feel like maybe we do. We have the diamond pickaxe now, so we can go and get obsidian blocks. You can end up really trolled by another portal, which is why it's kind of generally not that great to wait for a long, long, long time, and then you get trolled, and it's like, okay, all that effort was for nothing. Really ho hoping that doesn't happen, obviously, but, you know. You can never be too certain, can you? I think the best thing is to put those there and then put them on. That's a decent bow. Mmm! I don't want to! Why? <laughs> Why are you making me do this? Okay, um... What else? There isn't really anything else. Fence and wall not connect this bug, you know. Alright, here's what's gonna happen. We're gonna eat one golden apple, then we're gonna step in, holding our shield. And if all goes well, things go better. Put water in hotbar? Why though? It's the nether. If things go better than it did in Season 1, there's not a ghast ready to fire at us immediately, <laughs> which there was. And then we can make a cobblestone enclosure of the portal to be a little bit safe. RIP. Take a bed with you? Oh yeah, good idea, thank you. Mm -mm -mm -mm. This is much better. Part two. Much, much better. <laughs> nice. I have. Oh god, the lag here. Because it's generating off my pretty long view. This is, I'm actually gonna pause for a bit. That doesn't help because the server is still not running then. Okay. I'm just gonna have to accept the. Oh! Lag for a bit. All right, so. Yeah, but uh, Hawk Bar Survival, was it, I think? Where I actually had creepers, like, enter my portal, and then I stepped into the nether and just blew up. <laughs> Made a whole episode out of just that. Ghast scream. <laughs> Thanks. How do I... do I... maybe I do this. Okay, well... Still have the hearts, what do we have? 33 seconds. Let's see if we can find some soul sand real quick. That's pretty far away. That's the closest we'll get. Separate an apple. Ugh, that's not cool. Kind of would like quartz too, if I could get it, but... We could make it down there, but this... It's gonna suck. It's five seconds. Do not know where it is. God dang it. Must be up. There's no real good way to get down. This is kind of good. High stress situation. Very, very, very glad that I do not have a gas troll sound at the moment.
Do not step on magma. Do not step in fire. Let's go. These I'm taking just as redstone components. Oh, okay, that was a big hole. Not caring about that. Okay, let's get out of here. Gas sounds are not cool. Sliced lime experienced kinetic energy. Nope. Win. At night time. Get up. <sighs> Cat just goes, screw you. Okay, you actually gave me a thing. Okay, it was night time. This, these are spawn chunks, but I wasn't Victory nearby. <laughs> Thank you. I wasn't nearby, so it shouldn't have... It shouldn't have been anything spawning, but you never know. Uh, try to learn how to breathe again. All right. Okay. Cool. <laughs> Fun times. I see the water, and I, I would still be afraid to fall into it at this point. Okay, so we're about up to the height of the other one. These are all going to need to go... Like, both of these are going to need to go significantly higher... Because we're going to need to go to an AFK spot eventually. But for now, we'll build them up to, I guess, this level. It's going to be very annoying to build these up once we're done, though. So let's make sure we have plenty of torches up here because we don't want something extra spawning. All right. Cool. All right. Sweet. All right. Well... That means it's time to go back down. Should I put down the water so that we can start working on it? I guess I should. Fishing so you can get some pusher, puffer fish for potion of water breathing? No. I mean, I, I don't... I don't think it's worthwhile right now. I hate this. Why does this feel so bad? I know there's water down there. They know it's a straight tube. Ah! <laughs> okay. First of all, place a sign there. Water goes away. Yes. Good. Thank you. I don't. I don't care that I know all these things already. I need to know them for certain. Ah, uh, we're gonna be fine. We're gonna be absolutely fine. That respiration is a godsend. Look at that. Like three three bubbles or whatever what that was. There we go. There it is. Just in time for bed. How much glass do I have left? I have a couple stacks left. I kind of feel, I kind of do want to replace the lower part of that. And we do have to take away this ladder now that we have these. I guess I should try it. I haven't tried Have I tried going up this? No, I haven't, have I? I'm a little scared actually. Cuz it could actually spit me out. No, that's fine. That's fine. I just have to be a little careful about it. Okay, so now we'd actually see in here. I'm gonna leave the water down here until we're ready to start the farm. Because I could easily fall into that. <laughs> so we have about three stacks now. Kinda okay. We can get a bunch of stuff done. We need to build. I really want the thing to have at least two layers. Ideally, it should have three layers. Let's wait for the night, I guess. How's the farm looking? Pretty good, but still has a lot, lot of ways to go. Hi. What do you want? Carrots? Whee!
It's a good lookout post too. That's that's part of the reason for this. It's like I want a tower. If push comes to shove and there's a patrol, I can go up here and snipe. Alright, so this needs to be too high. So this is actually gonna be the layer that the next one is on. There's a tower pre-built for you over there. Oh, why didn't I use that one? <laughs> I'm out. So we didn't even get a didn't even get a full way around it. What wow. Well. I'm actually surprised that I haven't seen a patrol yet. That's a cow, not a patrol. <laughs> um We are I guess we're still counted as within the village. Maybe it only counts XZ. Or maybe it's just very big. Because it's lots of villagers. That could be it too. So I'm just gonna place these here for now. I'm not gonna wire them up. And then the next step is probably to finish building all of this, then wire it all up, and then test it. <laughs> the problem is, I have a bunch of torches in here right now, because I don't want to have mobs spawning yet. And the idea is we wash those away with the water when we we're done. So if I, tr if I test it too early, we wash away all the torches too early, and that's going to be a bad day. Because I don't want nights to happen in this world, preferably, I kind of probably would have to set this up quite far away so that I don't have nighttime happening. Maybe with a- oopsie! <laughs> Speaking of nighttime happening with the village loaded... Eh. Ah! Cat! Oh god. Did you have to? <sighs> I bet you wish you had put the torches on the top of the mob farm. Uh... Shouldn't matter that much. Uh... <laughs> hopefully, shouldn't. <laughs> I can still deal with mobs, like it's... But I guess we go up and find out, eh? Is it bottom slabs? What do you mean, these? These are... These are top slabs. But, uh... Kind of the idea here is that this, this is gonna have redstone on it. And now I can actually move the torches, because I want the torches to be, like, on here. And now it doesn't have a roof yet. That's right. But we didn't put torches on this. That's, that's the difference. But I'm loving the fact that this, this is actually quite far along now, this mob farm. It's not like all that far left before we can actually kick it into action. And like the feeling that I've done all of this with half a heart of health is... That is freaking amazing. The idea behind this farm is... There will be a water bucket inside of this dispenser need to cover up here so I can show um, that will dispense water a source water here that water goes all the way to the edge but not over so it will push mobs all the way here now they will either fall here or or here right so if they fall here they're gonna fall all the way down there there's not gonna be water there they're gonna die um, Otherwise, they'll fall down here, where there will also be water, and that will push them to the edge. So basically, there's a death drop from this flat layer down here, down to there. And then, of course, the more layers we build, the more spawnable spaces for mobs, and the, 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 just the, the better efficiency it's going to be, because the game is going to find more uh, spaces for mobs to spawn. And then we'll have redstone functionality to, to repeatedly dispense the water bucket, undispense the water buckets and stuff. 